everybody, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. Uh, we're here today with the 92 Toyota MR2. So when we last left off, we uh, kind of put the car together, finally put it on the floor. It's been a few days now, so I'm super excited to, to get these things done, to get this car turned over. So first on the list is gonna be the radiator because I bought a aluminum radiator. It's like a dual core aluminum radiator that we are gonna swap and put on um, this 92 Toyota MR2. Just because if we already, swapped out the the motor might as well swap out the cooling system as well so let's just get this done guys we got quite a few other things that we got to do to it so let's go all right guys i uh, kind of want to show you what i've done so far uh off camera i made uh, the interior of the car look like a car again instead of a parts car we did replace um the um the center console we put a cd box in uh we put a new uh, shifter surrounding for the time being um, we have a nice ashtray in there the whole uh, bezel radiator bezel or radio bezel uh, changed out the carpets this carpet looks a lot better compared to the carpet that I had in the driver's side I don't know if you guys remember um, in the earlier videos it they had a real big nasty spot here um, I did uh, throw that rug out um, and I did get this one and this one fits perfectly fine uh, same thing goes for the other side um, I also put in the uh, the molding I guess I guess this is the molding holder or bezel or bracket or whatever I did put those in um, I did just give the car a nice little uh, spray wax bath so it kind of looks nice and shiny right now um, as you guys can see obviously we still got to redo this bumper this bumper um, there are pieces on here that uh, came out horrible as you guys can see down here um, it, it just it's pitted it's I don't know if you guys can tell but right here you guys can but we're, we're gonna clean all this up anyway we're gonna take this bumper off so they can uh, so Marco can redo it um, we're gonna clean a little bit in here Let's see so you guys can see on this side kind of did the same thing here uh, cleaned up this rug. This rug was super dusty. Oh, we also replaced the uh, rear firewall carpet. Um, if you guys remember too, in the earlier episode, there was a uh, slit right here because it looks like the owner actually put um, a hole or like a like a hook to hook up his um, uh, racing stripes or racing belts, and it just was horrible. So I threw that carpet out, had an extra one, and we we replaced it, and then this one came out. A million times better looking anyway uh, same thing here for the, the brackets for the moldings let's see I put uh, this thing on uh, like spray wax this whole side here uh, we're setting up basically uh, for removing this bumper today so we're gonna actually remove this bumper replace the radiator um, try to clean it up as much as we can Got all our stuff here ready to go, so let's get to it, guys. All right, guys, now that we took off the uh, radiator cover, I would say, uh, we could start undoing this front bumper. Uh, we're gonna unbolt it um, and unbolt these and start trying to get this bumper off because we got to take it to get repainted anyway so at the same time we're just gonna make it easy and remove the radiator out this way instead of uh, having to drop it down through the bottom or try to lift it up we're just gonna pull everything off move it uh, move the bumper take out the radiator and then replace it with the new one all right let's get to it guys guys so far what we've done is we've removed the um, the radiator holder brackets uh, we removed the bolts that we can out of here without breaking any which we broke uh, let's see we broke one here and one here so I'm gonna have to drill those out later but looking good it's coming together um, got these are the bolts to the brackets so we're trying to kind of keep a count of all the bolts that we're using or, or where they go rather um, Next is going to try to be um, removing the front bumper, so we're going to have to try to remove these two bolts um, on each side. 
and then start weaning the bumper out. Um, gives me an opportunity to clean in there, uh, wipe everything down, uh, respray, maybe black if I need to, something just to, to cover it up um, so it, it doesn't look disgusting, so it looks at least clean. We could wipe it down and, and go from there, but we'll see. Let's get to it. guys so we did remove um, both wheels so what we're gonna start next is start to remove this uh, inner plastic I want to get this inner plastic clean it has a lot of overspray on it um, and it's, uh, it looks it looks red um, it's not the color we want so we're gonna take it off start uh, put that to the side so then we can uh, get this bumper off first and then we'll do all the cleaning and stuff later so let's get to it Alright guys, we got the inner tray off, right over there. Throw it over there so we can clean it up um, along with the rest of the underbody panels. Um, so then we can all clean them at one time, replace them all at one time. So it'd be real nice and slick. So we'll do that later, we'll save that one for later. But check it out, everything's off. Um, this would be a good time to change the uh, rotors and uh, brake lines, but I'll do that. Um, on another episode as of right now, uh, I want to focus on removing this bumper. So here we go. We have a lot of components in here. So um, I, I don't know if you guys can tell very well. Let's see. So these two, oh, it looks like these two bolts on the bumper are already off. So those contact points are off. I uh, just want to make sure there's nothing else in the way up here. Um, so then I can, uh, let's see. So then I can uh, get this bumper removed. All right, so let's check it out. So in the process of trying to remove the bumper from the inside, I, I just noticed that there's two under here. So that means that there'll be two under here. Um, and then I think pretty much the bumper can come right off. So I'm gonna remove these two really quick. Hopefully they don't break. If they do, like I said, we'll drill them out. Um, no big deal on that. Uh, same for these sides, but I gotta roll the uh, uh, roll the um, flip ups, roll them open because uh, what's gonna happen is that um, the only way to get in there is if they're up. So as I roll them, I just basically twist the knob counterclockwise, and as I'm doing that, it slowly raises, as you see. So it, I just need enough for for my hand to fit. As you can see, it's right there. So I'm gonna do that really quick, and then we'll start with uh, removing the bumper. Alright guys, uh, remove both of these two bolts over here, remove, remove these two as well. Um, both of them broke, um, they were just super super rusted on there um, and I ran out of uh, penetrating fluid so I'm going to have to go get some of that um, as I come back to these things but um, the bumper should be able to be removed. We're going to check the uh, driver's side now on this, basically on this end just to make sure there's nothing uh, holding it down or tacked it down and we'll go from there guys so let's get it. All right guys, what we're gonna do now is remove this water guard. Um, this one has a hole in it. I don't know if it can be repaired, but uh, it, something is better than nothing um, as far as the water guard goes. So we're gonna try to salvage this. I'm gonna start removing it. Um, and from there, we will uh, start looking to see if the bumper's connected anywhere back there. All right, let's get it. Right, guys did the same thing as you see the side uh, needs some, some rough cleaning we got spider webs everywhere um, but yeah so this kind of looks the same so this one looks like this bumper was removed at one point um, but it looks like it should just slip off now 
um, that everything is off. So let's get to this guys and, and get this bumper off so we can get this radiator nice and changed. guys so there were two bolts all the way back there um, on the actual where that circle is right there where my fingers covering it's two bolts one on top and one on the bottom uh, got both of those out and check it out it led um, it led out to two or three uh, three uh, holes so what I'm gonna do is be done with this side and we're gonna move on to the next So same thing goes here guys, uh, we were able to get the two bolts that were, let's see if I can see them, right there, those two big holes, that's where those two bolts were, um, those little ones, those are the bolts. So basically, that's where the one of the bolts were, and that was where one of the bolts were. One of them broke, the other one didn't, but uh, they came out complete, so awesome. Let's get to it. Alright guys, I had to remove these two bolts. They're not bolts, they're like plastic bolts with uh, with uh, tighteners on them. So two there, and one there, and one there. So there are just a couple different things that I gotta do now is remove some of the under panel uh, parts. We got some bolts here that um, are gonna need to be removed. So we're gonna get to that right now, so let's go. Alright guys, check it out. We got the front bumper removed. Came out pretty smooth. Um, everything looks and sits really well so far. There's no damage anywhere. Uh, we did lose quite a few bolts. Um, you can see the heads down there, but these are all things that I can drill out. I'm not too worried about that. Um, same thing goes for up here. Um, there were a couple of bolts that uh, I would have to drill out here. Um, but that's no big deal. Uh, we're gonna get to that and uh, let's get it going guys. Check it out. Check out this bumper. Removed completely in good condition. Since this bumper is gonna get repainted, I really don't mind uh, how it looks at the moment. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we did use a lot of Bondo. Not a lot, but we used some to flatten it out because it was super, super like cracked up. But we fixed it good because we put resin on the back. Everything looks good. Now it's nice and hard. But uh, with this, I'm glad it's off completely without damaging it very much. Um, and now let's get to this, guys. Let's blow this out.
right guys, so now what I'm gonna do is actually remove the front bumper reinforcement bar. I'm gonna get that out, try to clean it up a little bit, um, probably paint it. I'm gonna try to sand it really quickly um, and then kind of just uh, clean it really quickly and, and do it that way just because it, it looks horrible. Um, and at the same time, I'm gonna start removing these plastics um, that aren't gonna be used since we are gonna be using fog lights. I'll remove that, um, remove the front uh, subframe here or like the uh, radiator support, uh, remove that out as well and uh, get that cleaned up and uh, go from there. So let's get to it. All right guys, front bumper is off, looking pretty good. Um, the bolts were pretty big there, so I wasn't too worried about breaking them. They seem to be, had been coming out pretty good so far, so I wasn't too, too worried. Um, so far, so good. Here goes the uh, reinforcement bar. I'm going to, on another episode, uh, probably clean this up really nice, or if I have time on this episode, I sure will. I'm gonna try to sand this down really quickly. Um, just kind of spray a um, kind of like a like a, a black enamel something that's going to be shiny and something's going to look decent but i'm going to have to sand all this down first because this looks pretty pretty rusted up uh, i'm going to sand it down to the best that i can and, and go from there so next what we're going to do is remove the radiator radiator support um, after we remove that we're going to clean it all everything all up the best we can and start uh changing out the radiator after changing out the radiator we'll probably put the horns i did buy new horns for this uh, and go from there guys so let's get to it Alright guys, finally everything is off and out of the way so then I can get to the radiator. Um, we were able to pull off the radiator support. Here it goes right here. Um, here goes the reinforcement bar. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to try to put all the bolts all in one designated place. Um, not a good idea to keep it on the radiator. But I will put them all up here. So, um, these are the horns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse the uh, the horn bracket that's here. So I'm gonna reuse this this bracket and uh, use it uh, on the new horns. So we're gonna remove these. I'm gonna go put these over here with the rest of the stuff. So then when we need to modify stuff, we could do it here. All right, time to remove this radiator. Let's get it done. seen uh, we removed uh, the bottom plastics here we started taking um, unpicking these sides uh, plastic pieces off I think I'm gonna keep those off um, just to allow more air to go around the venue hit it and go around um, so it looks clean that way too and that way I don't have to worry about uh, having to clean these pieces up so let's get to this radiator and remove it um, it looks like what we're gonna have to do go underneath to remove the pins or the clamps because they're set from the bottom so let's get to it so you guys see what I've done so far I did remove the plastic pieces here got those removed um, I opened up the bleeder valve which is right there right there um, emptied it out completely as you see there was not very much uh, coolant in there at all so um, 
I mean, I'm sure half of it spilled as I was doing the build. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is um, unclamp these clamps. I got this one off so far. Let's see if you can see it. I got that one off for the most part. Uh, gonna work on this one, but what I'm gonna do first is just take this off here so I can remove them off of the mount and slide the whole radiator that way and then get to that uh, Get to that clamp. So let's get to it guys. Alright guys, check it out. We got the whole radiator off. It is disgusting. I'm not even going to lie to you. It, it, it's super rusted. Um, the fluid that came out of there was not that bad actually, to be honest. It was, it looked like a very orangey type of color. I don't know. It wasn't too bad. I, I was expecting that thing to look like crap. Like it wasn't that bad in all honesty. Um, but yeah, we got it out. We got everything removed. So I'm going to try to clean this up as much as I can. See how it comes out. I'm going to try to salvage these um, radiator like rubber stoppers. So it's uh, so the radiator that we do have, the aluminum one, can have something to sit on and not move around all crazy. So, so far so good, guys. Let's get to this. Alright guys, as you see, I cleaned it up. Uh, I used a tire brush to kind of just get in, in the grooves and stuff like that. It's looking pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is end up um, spraying the lower part of the radiator support black. Um, I'm going to do a real quick wet sand just to kind of get all the little imperfections out of the metal. Or try to sand down some of this rust and get out all these clips right here that, that I'm not going to be using. Uh, and just kind of spray from here basically from this arm down up to right here so i'm gonna try to be careful i'm gonna try to put some paper or something or plastic behind that um so i don't get everything wet but first off what i'm gonna do is now uh blow it off with uh with an air gun But as you've seen, I kind of sanded down um, this whole area. It's nice and smooth now. Um, try to get off as much dirt as I can. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually um, use kind of like the uh, wax and grease remover. Kind of go all around here with uh, a tack cloth afterwards. Um, and then rattle can spray, which I've used before. I don't, don't, don't flame me for this, but it's going to come out really nice. Uh, it's a glossy black, and then I have a clear to go over it. So it'll look really nice after uh, I'm done. Because um, underneath, I want it to at least be black. So then when you look at it, all you see is the nice shiny black with the radiator on there. Uh, I'm going to try to do the same thing with the uh, uh, front bumper support or reinforcement bar and the uh, radiator support. So uh, let's let's try to get this done. All right, guys, I'm gonna use now a tack cloth and kind of just clean it up here, and then spray some primer. Let the primer sit for a little bit, and then spray that uh, black gloss. So let's get to it.
Alright guys, so I also did the uh, bumper reinforcement bar. I didn't worry about too much about sanding this. This one I'm not worried about. This is going to be completely covered anyway, so I don't really care. It still has some rust bits. That doesn't matter. That's just to be on the same on the same color scheme, which is fine. I'm just going to paint it black still to be a glossy black. I don't really care how that subframe looks. This is going to look a lot better than what... Um, it was looking so uh, this is the radiator uh, upper radiator support so I'm gonna do this one as well black um, both of them came out really really good so let's get to this uh, I'm gonna start now with uh, the actual uh, lower radiator support on the car so let's go so as you guys can see this one came out really nice and dry it looks really nice and smooth check it out so this one's gonna, I know this one's gonna come out super, super nice, so let's get to it, guys. Check this out, this glossy black is starting to look really, really nice. Check it out. Superb. This is this is something that I didn't think it was gonna come out this nice, but it it really really did. And I'm totally okay with that. Check it out. I'm almost contemplating if I should put a clear or not. This is this is nice and shiny. This looks amazing. Looks really, really good. So let's let's see how it looks. We're gonna let it dry and we'll come right back to it. All right, guys, we're back. Um, and it looks awesome. This is dry. Uh, I'm gonna throw a a one quick layer of clear coat on here, just so then um, it can be at least protected. Um, but it's looking good. Like this is looking phenomenal, guys. Look at how nice this looks. This looks really, really, really good. So what I'm going to do is just uh, throw this clear and then I'll do the same thing to uh, the bumper reinforcement bar and the upper radiator support. So let's get it done. Alright guys, it has been clear coated. Uh, right now it almost looks like a, like a gray color, but it's really not. It's, it's a black. Um, it's just not, I don't know what the glare is doing, but it, it's definitely black. Um, just sprayed some clear coat, so we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and come back to it. Alright guys, the clear was set on. I'm going to let this dry for a few hours and I'll come back and uh, check it out. But look at how nice this shine is, like this. This has a good, good shine to it. It's a little cold in here. I'm going to turn on the, the torpedo um, just so then we can uh, get some heat in here so then it doesn't, uh, it doesn't um, dry really nasty. So uh, let's get that done. I'm going to go over here and show you guys how these came out. These didn't come out that bad. This is the upper radiator support. Look at how nice this thing is. I mean, this is smooth. This is real smooth. Look at, look at that shine right here. This is all with, uh, literally with rattle cans. So this is literally all rattle cans. Um, I tried to prep it okay. It wasn't the best prep, but it was okay. This is the, uh, the reinforcement bar. It's not too bad. This is really not too bad. Look at this. Uh, like I said, I really didn't care about the, the rust spots on here. It's, it's very minute. I'm not even thinking about that. Uh, I know you guys are probably going to be like, you know, you guys should should have did it right, I understand, but this is a reinforcement bar, I, I am not at all worried about this, um, I, I'm just glad this came out nice, and the uh, lower portion as well, so it just makes me super excited that it's done, and uh, looking good too, alright, so catch you in a few hours, peace!
All right, guys, well, the parts are sitting here drying. What I'm gonna do next is um, actually start setting up this radiator. Um, got the fans from my V6. These are already wired up um, and ready to go. So these are gonna go on that radiator. I'm not gonna buy a uh, like a fan shroud or anything like that. These are gonna go directly on the radiator. Um, I bought these here to, um, to tie them all in. Bought some extra of these clips just to uh, make sure because I think I was missing one yeah I was missing one here uh, I'll switch a couple of them out and, and make it more uniform uh, but let's get to it guys alright pulled out the radiator guys looks good looks good no damage so far uh, let's start with this tape and make sure that uh, Truly doesn't have any damage, right? Let's get to it. All right, guys, check it out. No damage so far. This is the the inner portion. This is the side that faces the the car seats. So not bad. It's looking good. It's looking good right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is um, change or add another one here or change them out just so they can match <laughs> um, as far as the uh, clips go and then we're gonna mount each uh, radiator fan one here and then one here we're gonna do it appropriately um, spaced just like this so let's get to it so now that we have it set exactly where we're gonna be doing all this work uh, I'm gonna remove this plug here I'm going to add um, the temp sensor the temp coolant sensor that's where that goes um, and then I'm gonna start with the fans I'm gonna spray them down really quickly and then just clean them up and um, put them on here so let's get to it guys guys um, I got these on I got the stronger tabs I don't know these feel a little bit more sturdy so I put these up top um, same thing for these these aren't as bad they're just a little loose but uh, once I use these um, these locks that lock them in place it, it should be totally fine uh, I don't think they're gonna go anywhere at that point um, but looking good looking good guys so let's get to uh, putting it on the radiator Alright guys, we've got a um, radiator fan, nice and secure, it's not going anywhere, you see it, I move the fan and I literally move the whole radiator, so we're going to do the same thing for the next one, and we'll go from there, let's go. guys this is all put together now um, it's looking really really good um, I was thinking of making a stencil that says nag and actually spraying it on the front of the um, the radiator I don't know how how great I am at stencils so I don't know if I'm gonna do it but definitely um, thinking about it so maybe I will maybe I won't let's see um, but so far so good guys so what I'm gonna do now is take a little break and we'll catch you in just about maybe an hour or so just so then we can actually see um, these parts uh, dried and we can start installing them on uh, the car so let's get to it guys alright guys it's been a few hours now it's about 12 26 a.m. Um, I left these things here after I painted them uh, maybe around 4 or 5 o'clock 
So yeah, everything's nice and dry. Um, everything's all good. So what we're gonna do is start putting everything back together again. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with the radiator. We're gonna get the radiator, put it together, put it on the, its lower lower uh, radiator support. Uh, start going from there, guys. So let's get it. Alright guys, thank goodness for editing. <laughs> it took me forever to put these clips on, um, but they're on now, so I'm not worried about it. Gonna install the um, the front radiator support back on. Um, got some new bolts and stuff that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using these guys. Um, it'll be nice. It'll look it'll look fresh. So I got some bolts here that are gonna go. Uh, another bolt here. Same thing goes on this side for the for the upper support and then we're gonna go from there guys so let's get to it. Alright guys check it out installing these these bolts. Uh, I'm gonna put two on that side right there that attach to the fender right over here but these things are coming out great never knew how good these things are they look awesome I'm gonna do two on this side and then two on that fender as well so let's get to it alright guys I got all the screws bolted up where they belong one there two here Two here, one there, one here, two here, and two there. So finally got this. Now what we're gonna do is um, install some new uh, horns because these horns look horrible. So I'm gonna install some louder horns. They're gonna be the um, they're from uh, six speed um, horns. I think they're like a hundred and something decibels. So we're gonna we're gonna install those right now. These things cleaned up pretty well, as you can see. They look nice and brand new. I literally put them on for all of one season, man. That's like two months here in Chicago. So these are all nicely, nicely cleaned up. We're gonna install these with the OEM brackets. Uh, hopefully it fits back here, which, yep, it looks like it will. So all I have to do is remove this nut here and place this on here. And we're in business, guys. So this fits perfectly fine. These are the brackets that it came with that I had on my V6, but I'm not going to be using these. So um, I'm going to stay with the original, with the original brackets. So we'll go from there, guys. So let's get it going. All right, guys. The horns are installed. All I have to do now is wire them up, and we should be all good to go. This this is looking really, really good, guys. Uh, when I put that uh, front bumper support, it should uh, put the icing on the cake and, and we'll be done with the front end uh, and we'll go from there. We're going to change out that bulb because that bulb is annoying me. Uh, we're going to change out that bulb too, but that that is just annoying. <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to we're going to put all these back on. This is the the harness to um, the horns. But what we're going to do, we're going to kind of wire it up a little differently. Uh, we're going to wire it up to the battery as well. Um, just so then we can have uh, we can have a super super loud horn. Um, there's a specific way to wire these. Uh, you can specifically wire them directly to um, the horn itself, and you just ground both of them together. Uh, once you ground both of them, you could just add the power of each horn, the power uh, wire to each horn on each side of uh, the each horn. So each each of these have. I don't know if you can tell, they have prongs, uh, each prong, one is a ground and one is a power, uh, 
and it, it makes the, the horns extra loud. So let's go. All right, guys, what I have here now is a little harness that I made. Basically, it's a grounding harness, um, one center ground to um, two grounded pins or prongs that are going to go on the back of this horn. There's two prongs on each horn. Uh, one prong is going to be a ground on each side, and then the other prong is going to be a signal on each side. So ideally, this is the active signal. Um, each signal... Uh, it does have a power, so I'm going to put one signal on each horn and then hook up the harness that is going to be grounded um, to maybe the subframe here or, or to the radiator support and go from there, guys. So let's get this done. Hey guys, harness is completed. Um, this is the signal. This is another signal. So the signal is going to go to each uh, horn there's gonna be one signal for each horn um, not only that but I also have them grounded already so I'm gonna try to keep it all to the same harness and try to uh, ground it maybe to one of these screws or something like that just so then it's it's more uniformed and looking good so let's get to that and once it's hooked up we'll start putting on the front subframe and we'll call it a day guys so let's get to it Alrighty guys, so the upper radiator support is all in along with the uh, six speed horns are all wired up. We have them wired up to the actual signal um, and at the signal we have uh, them grounded to this wire here. Um, but it's looking good guys, this, this is looking phenomenal, uh, it's looking really really good. And now next thing is to... Um, install that that uh, reinforcement bar and then we're good to go Alright guys, we finally got everything all put back together again. As you see, um, the front uh, reinforcement bar is on, the upper um, radiator support is on as well, lower is nicely painted as well. So it's looking good, it's looking good. The subframe, you can kind of tell there's still some rust stuff, but this is actually going to help it from continuously rusting. Um, but it, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad. And again, this is the front reinforcement bar. It's not going to be seen. I just painted it just to have the color scheme going the same way. The structure of the thing is still great, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. It's not rusted through or anything like that, but <laughs> check it out, man. This thing looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So this is going to conclude our episode, guys. All right, guys. That's going to conclude today's episode. Um, we did get a lot of stuff done here. Um, a lot of it took some time just because we needed to let the paint um, dry out and stuff like that. But we did it. This this front end looks really, really nice. We painted the lower uh, radiator support. We painted the upper radiator support. We also painted the uh, reinforcement bar. We added some hella... Uh, they're equivalent to hella horns. Um, I had these on my V6 before. They're... Uh, I, they're, I want to say 120 decibel or 160 decibel um, horns, so it's going to be super, super loud when, when we hit that horn. So we replaced the radiator, aluminum radiator, we replaced the fans. Everything is nice and tight, locked in really well. Um, I would have to say it's, it looks better than OEM. Uh, everything's going to function perfectly fine as well, guys. Again, thank you. I want to uh, take this time and, and kind of just thank all my subscribers once again, like I always do. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have the 3,000, close to 3,000 subscribers I do. Um, my analytics are going good. Uh, guys, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I also want to tell you guys, stay safe, guys. This is this is that COVID-19 era now. So um, just be careful. Stay inside. 
Listen to what these people are telling you. Stay inside because we can't afford to lose any other lives, guys. So um, there's there's kids out there dying. There's older people out there dying. And, and granted, it's the secondary issues. But still, guys, if we could prevent it, stay home. Stay home. Watch my videos. <laughs> Do something like that. Um, all right, guys. This is Nasty Addiction. This is our 92 Toyota MR2. My name is Jeremy. And uh, you already know this is Nasty Addiction. And we build differently, guys.